There's been a lot of confusion, guys, over why Tesla is raising the price of the Model Y. But the reason that they've decided to do this is remarkably obvious. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It may not be remarkably obvious to you, but now you know these numbers. Well, yeah, it probably will be. The sales in Europe are up significantly this year. In fact, they're completely dominating the market in places like Norway, uh, UK, Germany, France, all the biggest EV markets in Europe. Uh, Tesla is dominating them once again this year, even with only two models for sale. And to be fair, Model 3 Highland sales, I mean, they've increased the price significantly. So, you know, I think that Tesla doesn't want to sell as many Model 3s because they manufacture them in China. They've got to ship them all the way to Europe. They've got to pay some taxes and fees at ports and stuff. It's not really that profitable for Tesla to sell the Model 3 in Europe. Model Y, though, is manufactured in Germany, so that makes a lot of sense. Now, Tesla have just raised the price in Europe of the Model Y, and they're about to raise the price in the United States on the 1st of April by $1,000. US And a lot of people are thinking, well, why are they going to do this? Well, first of all, as a result of these decisions, Tesla share price has actually increased by 7%. Tesla said prices of its Model Y vehicles will be increased by 2,000 euros in some countries effective the 22nd of March. So that's more than a day from now. In other words, Tesla's raising prices and people need this information to help them realize that Tesla's demand this year has grown. Tesla's selling more cars. I mean, aside from what I've just revealed on Tesla dominating the market, uh, I've got a video, by the way, on the exact numbers for those car markets in Europe so far this year. I'll put a link in the description. But the same thing is happening in the United States, where Tesla owns 55% of the market there. Their sales have continued to grow this year significantly. In January, for example, Tesla Model Y sales were up 35%. 32,250 Model Ys were sold in January alone. Yeah, I mean, the Model Y represented around 36% of all car sales in America, of all EV sales in America, I should say, in January. So clearly Tesla changes or raises or lowers prices based on demand. That's what it comes down to. But what shocks me about all the, the, the Tesla Model Y demand we're seeing is the fact that demand's so high, in spite of the fact that the majority of these customers are aware that there's gonna be a new Model Y by the end of the year, maybe earlier than that, the Juniper version, it's got new batteries, it's got huge changes. I mean, it's got all the Model 3 changes plus more changes coming, which the Model 3 Highland didn't get. So that's what surprises me. These sales numbers for the Model Y are quite quite surprising. And clearly the market is responding to this demand. I mean, we're getting told that Tesla sales are down, that they're, it's getting overtaken by BYD, but that's not actually true this year. So far, Tesla has unquestionably outsold BYD when it comes to EV sales for the first three months of the year. In fact, they're quite a way ahead of them in the first three months of this year so far in terms of pure EV sales, not plug-in hybrids because Tesla doesn't sell plug-in hybrids. But anyway, both BYD and Tesla are actually doing really well. But out of the two companies this year, so far, Tesla's had a much better first two months of the year. As a result, prices have gone up. Now, obviously, Tesla's already raised the price of the Model 3 Highland significantly in well, most markets. It's, its biggest markets, such as China, Europe, and the United States. It's raised prices in th all, all those locations of the Model 3. So profitability should rise for Tesla, or at least it will for the first half of this year from what we've seen so far, because you have to equate the other thing that's happened to Tesla. Battery prices have come down enormously over the past four months. Thanks for watching.